Nature's Living TV and I'm Stephanie. Thank you so much for watching. Today I have a book review for you. I purchased this book. It's called Peace of Mind Planner and I purchased it for my mother and as soon as I started looking at it I decided not to send it to her. I'm keeping it. But don't worry. I went ahead and ordered another one to send to her. So my mother lives out of town and I don't see her often enough to know her day to day, little minute details of her life. And I started thinking, what if something happened? How would I know how to help her, what she needed? And it's just, there's so many questions. And I started thinking I would make a list and try to figure it out. And then I started looking at books and I found this one. And this piece of mind planner is so, nice it's just pretty much got everything so i'll set i'll put a, um, a little description of it in my description below but it has she, this whoever this is has thought of everything i mean from let me just kind of walk you through it a little bit it's important information about my belongings business affairs and wishes once i started reading through this book i started to realize my daughter and my sons do not know this information about us and there's so many things that if i couldn't tell them they wouldn't know and um, I was reminded of a story my girlfriend told me uh, when she was taking care of her elderly father and he ended up having to go into a care facility and she was taking care of his belongings and she told him, well, I got rid of some of your things. I went ahead and sold uh, some of the old furniture that you didn't need anymore and I sold your chest of drawers. And he said, you didn't sell my chest of drawers, did you? And she said, well, yeah, it, was, you know, it wasn't worth anything really. I practically gave it away. And he goes, well, I had a thousand dollars cash taped to the bottom of one of the drawers. Yeah, he had hidden some money, so he didn't tell anybody. So if you have secrets that you don't tell your kids or somebody to take care of, then you might sell the chest of drawers and lose a thousand dollars, which is like, no getting that back. Wow, what a surprise when those people, if they ever found it, maybe they never even looked. So every little detail should go in the Peace of Mind Planner. So let's just kind of look through some of the some of the inside. First of all, it's a really nice book. I don't know if you love paper the way I do, but this just feels really good. It's not cheap, it's nice, nice paper. We start with my personal information. So all your names. Do you have more than one name? All your names, your address, your phone number, your social, uh, your birthplace. Uh, your kids probably know where you were born, but it's nice to put it in there anyway. Um, what kind of conditions do you have? Are you on medication? Who's your doctor? Who's your insurance? Um, what kind of plan do you have? Where can I find that insurance card if I need to? And do you need, um, do you have any special instructions? You know, there's that do not resuscitate or resuscitate. Those are decisions that you should make and have a plan for. Um, give it some thoughts. If you have any allergies, if you're taking medicine, uh, who's your doctor? I said that, didn't I? And maybe your kids need to know if you're incapacitated, where are you getting your medication so they can go, go get a refill. And then you've got key contact information. Have you chosen someone to be the key person to contact? Um, it just keeps going. There's at the time of my passing. Well, no one wants to think about that, but um, you know what? If we did think about it ahead of time, it would be so much easier for our family who is already grieving and in shock to just have some instructions to make it easy. I wouldn't go crazy on this and make it hard for them. I definitely want my kids to do whatever they feel like doing, but if it can make it easier for them uh, to tell them what I would like, um, I'm definitely going to do that. And that way they'll know. If I died, would they know all my friends? Does my daughter know all my friends? I would want them to know. So here's a list where you can write down all your friends and their contact information. I honestly think that there's no age that, that doesn't need this book. If you're 28, you still need this book. Where, you know, who are your friends? If you're 35, if you're 55, if you're 85, you need to have this information for your loved ones to be able to just quickly go through and notify your friends because they're gonna wanna know. And it's not, it's not a good feeling as a friend to hear it in social media or the newspaper or the news. It's really not. This is important documents. Where's my driver's license? Uh, my passport, where's that? Uh, where's my birth certificate? Could they find that? You know, we had a major fire in our area. <sighs> when was that? Not last summer, but the summer before, where we actually had to evacuate. And we were evacuated for seven days. And I never had to pack up things in my house. I never had to choose what was important and what wasn't. And I, honestly, I did not know where to look for most of my stuff. 
And so it's kind of a thought to figure out where you're going to keep your important papers. Where are, is your birth certificate? Where is the title to your car? Where, where are these things? And um, maybe somebody else should know too, in case, in case you're not able to tell them where these things are. Life insurance. Yes, do you have life insurance? Who's your agent? How do they call? What do they do? Make this easy. And then there's a section for pets because a lot of us, our pets are family to us and we want to kind of let you know who our veterinarian is and I know my, both both of my little dogs are tagged and let you know how to find them if they get lost and you know all of this who's going to take care of them who do I want to have take care of them <laughs> believe it or not a whole section on email and social media so that they can go in they'll have your password they can close the account if you if they want I mean why keep it open and um, if you have any personal wishes there's several pages for that so I just feel like this is a great book for just about anybody to have and take the time to fill out and make it easy for your loved ones when they're not in a state where they want to sit around worrying about paperwork. This would be a great book to have and it would make you have peace of mind just to know that you've gone ahead and made this simpler for people. So that's my book review. I love it. Enough to buy two and I might get some more uh, for my kids because I think I'd like to have them just have the peace of mind of knowing that all their information is in one place. I haven't figured out where to put this because it really does have a lot of good personal information and so you either put it in your safe if you have one or maybe safe deposit box or someplace safe that just any old random person couldn't get a hold of it and um, so that would be important but I highly recommend it. So that's my book review and tell me what you think and have you found a book like this and you know have you a story of how you handled this and um, I'd just like to know what do you think. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please subscribe and like this video. Give me a thumbs up. That would be awesome and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.